Good afternoon for those on the East Coast and good morning for those on the West Coast. My name is Wallace Barkins, Jr., your webinar host and the philanthropic planning officer here at Grow Literacy. Thank you for joining me in today's webinar entitled Impact Through Legacy, Your Legacy, Their Future, A Lasting Impact. Today, I am excited to share with you how you can impact the future of pro literacy, the future of adult literacy programs, and most importantly, adult learners. But before we get started, we have some housekeeping rules that I'd like to go over. Number one, your phones will be muted during today's presentation. Number two, if you have any questions regarding content or if you are experiencing difficulties with sound or with viewing the presentation, please enter your question or concern in the question box. Number three, also joining me for technical support is Jennifer Paulding, our marketing and communications manager. Say hi, Jennifer. Hi, everyone. She will monitor your questions and any that she cannot answer herself, she will do so. Otherwise, I will answer them during the um, two question and answer sessions that we have. And lastly, everyone who is registered for this webinar will receive a follow-up copy of this recording via email within the next couple of days in case there's any part that you may have missed or you want to review. Our agenda is as follows. We will have opening remarks, followed by brief overview of pro-literacy and adult literacy, questions and answer part one, opportunities for impact through plan giving, and then a final set of questions and answers. Today I will share opportunities that are available at pro-literacy where a legacy can be created and sustained to positively impact adult literacy. I will show that through gift and estate planning, how donors' legacies have significantly impacted pro-literacy's mission and work. And I will discuss how donors can start planning now for a greater impact in the future. And I'm going to encourage you to think about the legacy you want to leave and discuss how planned giving, such as charitable gift annuities, bequests, trusts, can benefit adult learners and, more importantly, our society at large. And if you'd like to make a difference in adult literacy, helping to increase employment, reduce poverty, and lowering health care costs, well, stay tuned. Again, my name is Wallace Barkins, Jr., the philanthropic planning officer here at ProLiteracy, and I am primarily responsible for developing and implementing plans for securing major and deferred gifts from donors through estate planning and other types of gifts so that the life-changing work of pro-literacy continues. I have a total of 30 years of experience at pro-literacy. Yes, I've had a long run. 25 of those years have been spent in New Readers Press, our publishing division, and the sales and marketing customer service department. And the last five years have been spent in development, working mainly with individual donors. I've continued to work in adult literacy because the reward of seeing an individual read and accomplish a task or fulfill a desire is very satisfying to me. It's sort of what hooked me and sort of sealed the deal for me, so I continue uh, working here. My connection to adult literacy. When I first started with Pro Literacy as a new hire in customer service, I was required to take the 12-hour basic literacy tutor training course to get a better understanding and feel for the adult learner, as well as the work. So I completed the training and was anxious to meet my first adult learner, and her name was Emma. She's pictured in the photo here. Emma was an older woman whose main desire was to learn to read so that she could participate in her church Bible study group. And for most of her life, she struggled to read, putting the needs of her children and others in front of her own. Yet her deepest desire was to read. Now it was her turn. So she enrolled in an adult literacy program through the learning place to begin the realization of her desire. Although the learning process wasn't easy and it wasn't an overnight instant success, she, through hard work, eventually ended up participating in her Bible study group as a reader. And just seeing and experiencing Emma pushing forward was my reward, 
And uh, this life-changing work is always good to see firsthand because it, it's good to see how adults' lives have been changed through adult literacy. About pro-literacy, why do we exist? What is our purpose? Our core belief is that every adult has a right to literacy. And our mission is to develop and promote adult literacy learning content and programs to increase adult literacy rates worldwide. We exist to solve the worldwide problem of low literacy among adults. We are the largest adult literacy and basic education impact organization that supports a network of about a thousand member programs nationwide, and we're in 25 countries worldwide. We also advocate for awareness and adult education funding. The need. Right now, there are about 800 million low literacy adults worldwide and more than 36 million in the U.S. alone. And to address these numbers, we have three immediate outcomes, three immediate goals. Number one, we want to increase access to educational resources for adults who want them and who need them. We'd like to expand our footprint. We'd like to improve the effectiveness of our adult literacy programs. We'd also like to increase adult education funding among donors, among foundations, and through public policy so that we can reach 1 million adults annually and so that we can ultimately increase employment, reduce poverty, reduce health care costs, reduce crime, and increase childhood literacy rates and to improve an adult's quality of life. So we are committed to developing programs and activities that will help us achieve these intermediate goals and to reach our final goal of advancing the literacy skills of one million adults annually. We believe our work has a positive impact in raising literacy rates. And for more than 60 years, pro-literacy has been working to build a society and to create a world where every person can fulfill his or her life through literacy. We believe a safer, stronger, and more sustainable society starts with an educated adult population. On this slide, we have some staggering U.S. adult literacy facts as it relates to unemployment, health literacy, poverty, and education. Did you know that low literacy costs the U.S. at least $225 billion each year in non-productivity and the workforce, crime, and loss of tax revenue due to unemployment? Did you know of adults with the lowest literacy levels, 43% live in poverty? Did you know an excess of $230 billion a year in health care costs is linked to low adult literacy? And did you know that every year, one in six young adults, more than 1.2 million, drop out of high school? You can see how these stats have a negative impact on our society at large, but at the same time, it shows how you, we need to continue our vital work here at Pro Literacy. And I'm proud to share with you some results and impacts that have been achieved through various programmatic initiatives. Results help us track our impact. 21,472 individuals reached with National Book Fund materials and resources. 500,000 adults reached annually to improve their literacy skills. 16,300 adults reported obtaining a better job or a better job as a result of increasing literacy skills. If these results are meaningful and inspire you to do more, we have opportunities available to help you create a lasting impact and that will help you fulfill your philanthropic goals. And I just want to say that Pro Literacy is a great place to leave a lasting legacy, a real good place. <laughs> um, before we get into our next half, we're going to stop here to see if there are any questions, to see if any questions have been submitted into our question box. Jennifer, uh, do we have any submissions at this time? 
I do have one question. Um, it looks like we're diving right into the plan giving uh, portion of the webinar. Okay. Um, what assets can I give to establish a plan gift? Okay. Well, we like, of course, cash because cash is always king. But we also ac accept um, stocks and bonds and any other type of security um, because those can be easily exchanged and converted um, into cash for proliteracy. Okay. Um, I actually do have another question that just came in. Okay. Um, are the results annual or over a different amount of time? Um, the 500,000 number is annually. We've reached 500,000 people, so uh, adults rather, through efforts here at Pro Literature. So that's an annual number. The uh, 16,300 is an annual number, and I believe the same is true of the 21,742. Okay. Uh, I think that's all I have for now for a question. So. Okay. Well. Back to you. If, all right, we'll go into our next half then. You asked, how can I create or leave a lasting legacy, a lasting impact? How can I fulfill my philanthropic goals? Well, it's going to be through a planned gift or through planned giving. Planned giving can be defined as a method of supporting nonprofits and charities that enable philanthropic individuals to make larger gifts than they could make from their income, therefore creating a greater impact. And planned gift can are also called legacy giving or estate or gift planning. And a planned gift is a contribution that is arranged in the present but allocated at a time in the future. And these gifts are commonly donated through a will, a trust, or some other vehicle and most often granted once the donor has passed. Pro-literacy plan giving options are multifaceted. It helps you establish a lasting legacy so that your passion for adult literacy will continue to make an enduring impact. And it helps adult learners overcome low literacy which is very often the first step towards a better future and a better economy. And it helps pro-literacy to continue the vital work of adult literacy. We'd like to stay around doing our work. Um, we certainly want our problem to be eradicated, but until then, plan gifts will help us to ensure the financial health of the organization so that our crucial, crucial work can continue. More, op more information on planned giving. Planned giving doesn't have to be complicated. Planned giving can be set up at any age. Because of its flexibility, planned gifts are relatively easy to establish. It can be as simple as completing a single page form or as simple as a conversation with your attorney or financial planner. Also, talking with a pro-literacy development officer is always a good first step, and we welcome those types of conversations. And plan giving does not compete with other gifts. Plan giving allows you to support a cause without affecting your current financial situation. Since most plan giving can be structured to take effect after the life of the donor, the donor would not have to accommodate any changes in their daily lifestyle. And plan giving gives you control. Give you, it lets you have the uh, dignity regarding important decisions about your legacy. After all, it is your legacy. And plan gifts offer you a say in how the funds will be used. You specify how. Maybe the funds are to be used to support a specific initiative, a programmatic effort here at ProLiteracy. Maybe you'd like to... Um, support an ongoing adult learner scholarship, or maybe by establishing an endowment, uh, something that can be done into uh, perpetuity. On this next slide, we sort of have an upside down pyramid, but it's to show you that planned giving is at the top, followed by major gifts and other donations. Planned gifts are usually the largest 
donation a nonprofit receives, followed by major gifts and then annual donations. However, a planned gift is not usually the first gift a nonprofit receives. Very often, most given starts off small and then increases, as in the case of Betty May, a donor who left pro-literacy in her will. Betty May was a longtime supporter of 32 years to pro-literacy, and her memory lives on through the many people who will gain life-changing literacy skills through the planned gifts she made. As Betty May clearly understood, literacy is empowering, a foundational skill that makes lasting change possible, not only for the individuals themselves, but also for families and communities. Her impact through legacy is celebrated as well as the, as the support her lifetime of philanthropy provided, but it didn't start off big. It began with small donations in 1984, starting with just $10, ranging to about $35 in 2006. But because of purposeful planning, she was able to do more for the adult literacy cause through her death than she did alive. It was her legacy on her terms. By including pro-literacy in her will, Betty chose to further her vision of a better world. And now we turn to the benefits of a planned gift. Planned gifts can offer tax benefits to donors, estate planning tools such as bequests, or will provisions, IRA asset allocation, charitable gift annuities, and charitable remainder trusts offer significant tax incentive to donors. For example, a bequest is 100% deductible from a donor's estate and can reduce potential estate taxes. I'll talk more about these later. Loyal donors can contribute more than they could have in their lifetimes. Again, plan Gifts are usually the biggest donation a nonprofit receives, much bigger than the major gifts and the annual gifts. And the power to create a lasting legacy is in your hands. To make these meaningful gifts of adult literacy, you have to say, and the power again is in your hands. Here's an alarming fact. More than 50% of Americans do not have an estate plan in place, making estate planning a critically overlooked component of financial wellness. This creates hardship, financial or otherwise, which can be diminished by advanced planning. In light of these alarming facts, proliteracy is a great cause with a great reputation in which to consider establishing a legacy of impact. And a special note right here, pro-literacy has high rankings among the following charitable regulatory agencies, the Better Business Bureau, Charity Navigator, Charity Watch, and GuideStar. And my belief is that people generally realize the importance of receiving a good basic skills education and understand that it is significant to success in life. Reading is fundamental, and a person is limited in what they can accomplish without good reading and comprehension skills. Without a great basic educational foundation in which to build, success in life is limited. But everybody wins through a planned gift. Everybody wins through a legacy gift. The donor's legacy is strengthened. Proliteracy's future is supported. The donor gets a tax break. And most importantly, at the intersection of all three of these is the adult learner being helped and being empowered. And another unstated win-win is for our society and communities at large. They are strengthened when an adult learner is educated. Plan giving partnership options. 
On this slide, we have the various partnerships options that are available here at ProLiteracy. The first groups are gifts that pay you income and offer immediate, future, and estate tax benefits. And that would include charitable gift annuities, charitable remainder annuity trust, and charitable remainder unit trust. The second group are more gifts that offer you tax benefits, but may not pay you in income. And those would include outright gifts of stocks and securities, retirement plans through your IRA, life insurance, or charitable lead trust. The third group is a miscell miscellaneous listing of bequests or gifts that are coming through a will and gifts of real estate, where an immediate estate and capital gain tax benefits would be included. Next, I'd like to share with you a few stories of donors who have partnered with Pro Literacy to make legacy gifts. The first story is of George and Shirley Becky. The Beckys have been donors for 29 years and made a provision in their will for pro literacy. And Shirley says, even when we had very little money, we would send in 10 or $20 to pro literacy. I come from a long line of educators and literacy advocates. So I just so strongly believe in the power of literacy. And George, her husband, said, I came to the U.S. from Poland with my family at 17, and it was a struggle to learn English as a third language. But Shirley wouldn't marry me until my English was perfect. Both of us have witnessed the impact of literacy, so it was no surprise that pro-literacy was one of Shirley's choices for her will. Next, we have the story of a 32-year donor by the name of Betty Ann Key, who took out a charitable gift annuity. And she said, my parents took me to, my, to get my first library card when I was barely six years old. It was such a big deal. Dad and I would spend Friday nights at the public library while mom did the grocery shopping. Later, college was made possible because of a scholarship. Then after college, I received a Fulbright grant to study in France. I have been given great opportunities in life, so I feel I owe it to others to give back. With pro-literacy, there's a long history of success. So I can safely put my trust in them, and I know that the people I want to help are getting the money. If everyone pitched in and gave a little, a lot more could be done. Wow, those are great testimonials. Mm -hmm. And both the Beckys and Betty and Keith are a part of the Heritage Society. These are donors who have contributed to pro-literacy sustainability and future. And the Heritage Society is an exclusive group of pro-literacy supporters who have confirmed a planned gift to pro-literacy. Membership in the Heritage Society Society includes a certificate of enrollment, a subscription to an exclusive semi-annual newsletter on the latest information on pro-literacy's activities. It also includes invitations to special events and periodic updates on the impact of their planned gifts. And I'm proud to say that we currently have 116 members in our Heritage Society. You ask, who can make a positive impact on the mission of pro-literacy? You can. You can do it. You have the power to create a lasting impact, a lasting legacy. You can make a difference. Question is, what kind of legacy do you want to leave? What do you want to be remembered for? Together as partners, we can touch many lives. How about a legacy that helps increase adult literacy rates and that improves the quality of an adult learner's life? An investment in adult literacy is an investment in our society. And an investment in pro-literacy is an investment in adult literacy and the investment of our world at large. 
My personal philosophy is open a door once a door has been opened to you. Plan gifts to pro-literacy opens doors. It grants opportunities to those who otherwise may not have them. And through plan giving, you can ensure that the educational opportunities for adults are available for generations to come. Your legacy, their future, a lasting impact. We have the power to make great change. Together, we have the power and ability to make something happen. The power to impact adult learners now and in the future through a planned gift is possible today. And now we've come to the end of our webinar, but if there are any questions uh, that that have been submitted, we will entertain them at this time. Um, yeah, first off, I'd like to say that was a great webinar. Um, and we do have two questions right now. Okay. Uh, one of them, is there a minimum amount required to make a charitable gift annuity with pro-literacy? For a gift annuity, yes, there is a minimum of $10,000 to, um, to get that started. And, um, Again, that can be through cash, through um, securities, through stocks, and through bonds. But yes, there is a minimum of at least $10,000. Okay. Um, I like this question, okay. uh, so, but I'll let you answer this. Okay. <laughs> what is Pro Literacy's rating on Charity Navigator? We are a four star at this time, which I'm very happy to report. Yes, we, um, yes. <laughs> Let's applaud that. We obtained that rating just last year. I'm very proud to say that um, that we um, it took a little bit of work, hard work, but we're very happy to say that we are there. Very proud. And um, we hope to remain there a very, very long time because we have a great <laughs> staff. We have great uh, workers here, and we have we we're doing a great work, and we can't stop until it's done. No, nope, we can't. So, so we and we will use your money wisely and always put money, um, all the monies that we receive, we always put them to very good use here. All right. Well, that's all I have for questions. Okay. Well, again, thank you for joining me in today's webinar. Remember, everyone who registered for this webinar will receive a follow-up copy of this recording via email within the next couple of days in case there's any part you may have missed or you may want to review. And, and should you have any further questions, please feel free to contact me. The 800 number is listed there. You can contact me uh, anytime, Monday through Friday, between the hours of 9.30 a.m. and 5.30 p.m. And you can also uh, email me to whatever is best for you. But I do, again, thank you for taking the time out of your schedules to, um, to sit in on this webinar. All right. Thank you, all. Thank you, Jennifer.